What is the greatest possible rate of energy transfer by radiation from a metal cube that is 1.7 centimeters on a side and is at 730 degrees Celsius? Its emissivity is 0 0.4. The uh, formula for equation, formula for equation, the formula for radiation is Q over delta T is equal to the emissivity of the, the uh, the um, thing that we're looking at. So the emissivity of this cube is 0 0.4 and then we multiply that by sigma which in this case is called the Stefan Boltzmann constant and that's a constant that's given to you in your book. Then we multiply these also by the surface area that we're looking at. So in this case the surface area of the total cube and then we multiply that by the temperature to the fourth power. So they give us E as 0 0.4 and we are given the Stefan Boltzmann constant which is 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8 and this has units of watts per meter squared Kelvin to the fourth power. Then we multiply that by the surface area which we talked about in this case, it's a cube. So if we unwrap this cube, we get what something that looks like this. So each one of these is the side of the cube, so it has six sides, and they tell us one of the sides is 1.7 centimeters. So what we can do is let's find the area of just one of the sides and then multiply it by six sides. So we, uh, let's put them into meters first. So we have 0 0.017 meters times 0 0.017 meters. And that gives us 0 0.000289 and then we multiply that by 6 because there's six sides and that gives us 0 0.001734. So this is the area, the surface area of the cube. Meters squared. And now we need the temperature, which they give us as 730 degrees Celsius, and we need to put that in Kelvin. And in Kelvin, it is 1003. Okay, so now we can plug it in. So we have Q over delta T is equal to 0 0.4 times the Stefan Boltzmann constant is 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8 and then we multiply it by the surface area 0 0.001734 meters squared and we multiply that by 1003 to the fourth power all of that gives us 39.31 watts or 40 watts so now when we multiply these out, let's put in the units real fast just to show you something. So we have meters squared, and then we have k to the fourth power. But if you notice, the units for the Stefan Boltzmann constant is watts per meter squared times k to the fourth. So the k to the fourth cancel, the meter squared cancel, and we're left with what we want of watts.